Hello everyone. Uh, so we've all seen the cases that have been going on uh, in Nigeria. Uh, first of all, in the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and the fact that the Minister, uh, Minister of Humanitarian Affairs has been suspended. And then the Minister of Interior was sort of like also found to be in this whole uh, corruption scandal that is going on. How did he become part of it? A company of his uh, that, that, that is called New Planet Project Limited was found to have been awarded contracts where they were paid money for consultancy. Uh, his company got uh, over 400 million naira from also that was paid by uh, by the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and they have been outcry over the fact that this shouldn't be so. And so the minister in defense of uh, himself was on, on air, clearing the air and saying that he had resigned from the company as a director and that he wasn't involved uh, with, with the company. So we'll take a look at this, uh, his interview and sort of like what I'll try to do is to look at the questions that he raised, the things that he said, and let's just analyze it together. So let's take a listen. Commitment. So this, as I've always said, I came into public office um, with, a, with a commitment. To, to base my service based on sincerity of purpose and openness, obviously, because I believe that Nigerians deserve to know um, and um, they deserve to be kept, uh, they don't deserve to be kept in the dark in terms of um, public office operations. I have to say this very clearly, I saw it and um, actually I was shocked because um, the company in question was a company um, where I was a director um, and about five years ago, I had resigned my directorship over five years ago. You, you own the company? Yes, I founded the company 15 years ago. Because the, the document online the, shows definitely that yeah, I yourself founded the, and your wife, I, isn't it? I founded the company okay. 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. But in 2019, when I got to the House of Representatives, when I won election, precisely, I did a change of... Um, this is it. You can have a look at it. Okay. This is, you can see there. This that is, is the CSC document. Certified true copy dated 2019, almost five years ago. I had resigned as director of the company. Season to hold office. This. Yes. So I'm not a director. I'm, August, um, August 2019. 19, but the, I resigned 1st of February. You can go to the back. Okay. The last page, that was the board resolution. Certified true copy by CSC as far back as 2019. Okay, so this is it, what it looks like. Yeah, that is the certified to copy. Please show the, um, you can show the CAC document of um, this. You can show the CAC document. That's the, to sh my, what's it called? That's certified to copy from CAC. They 2019. So I had... 8-8-2019. Eight, eight, yes. That's what is dated. So I'd, I'd left, I, I resigned my, my directorship 1st of February to the board and um, CAC certified it. That's certified to Hmm. Okay, so let's take uh, what we've listened so far. And uh, the first thing uh, he did say, he talked about the fact that he he wants to serve with sincerity and purpose, which honestly, that's that's what should be. And uh, uh, first of all, I would say so far within this uh, Tenebusi legitimate uh, government, he has been one person that has really been shining, has really been doing so many things. And you see some of the, some people are now like, oh, he's doing so well. No, that's not the issue. Because we have people right now who are saying that, oh, uh, Ab <coughs> Abacha, <coughs> excuse me, Abacha only had bad rep and, and all of that. That's many truths can can stand at the same time and so let's go into this so yes he said with sincerity of purpose and openness these are the things for him that's why uh he thinks service is that's what service should be all about and he believes that people shouldn't be kept in the dark and he's coming out to clarify <clears throat> this issue one he said he was a director it's a company that is he founded by himself so that's part of the main thing it's his company founded by uh, himself and his wife if you look at the the and he still has shares in those companies so he has six thousand six million nine hundred shares in that company so 69 percent of the company is his his wife has three million one hundred shares uh, ordinary shares via uh, the, the units and that's 31 percent 
of the of the company so this is a family company even though he has resigned as a direct as a director but it, it doesn't mean that he is he's no longer part owner or you know of of, of that company and he said yes he resigned five years ago when he was going to the house of representative which is yes <clears throat> i don't know why something just got into my door. so apologies please for this and so which is why he has resigned five uh five years ago and it's a company that he founded 15 years ago so the key issue here now is the fact that it's not just about you resigning you know it's just about you resigning as a director okay you're, you're no longer a director but you're still a beneficiary of the company you're still an owner in the company in fact you still have more shares in, in, the, in the company yes you can have shares in the company and not be a director that means you're not actively working you're not doing all of those you know daily uh daily things you're not you're not in the you're not a director but that doesn't mean that you're not still an owner you know understand of of that uh particular uh company he did say he resigned five years ago he brought his ctc which was in 2019 i was actually taking notes while he was uh he was speaking and she did say that uh you know on the 8th of of august 8 8 2019 was when you know he ceased to be a director but the main issue now here is that it's not an issue of whether you you are still a director even uh, you are still a director or not yes fine within the within the law you fulfill that part of the law that says you shouldn't be a director in any company the moment you, you are holding a public office or you are a government worker the moment you do that the only thing that you can do that you, or that you are allowed to do the kind of business you're allowed to do actually is farming so if it's farming, you're doing your good, but any other thing, uh, you, you, you can't do that. So we, we have that there. But then the main thing here is that this is a family business. This is your family business, you and your wife, and you've resigned as a director. It doesn't mean that you're not still part owner of the, of, of the company, and it doesn't mean that you're not going to be a beneficiary of that company. This whole 400 and something a million naira. Let's, by the way, there's, if you look at the... The, this thing that was brought out, the, the list of the payment of the different companies, and this is what consultancy fee for some states. Some of some companies even have just three states that they're going to do this consult, and they were getting, you know, over a quarter or, or, of a million. And in his own case, there were two payments that were made to his company, 279 million naira, and also 159 million naira, 137,000 naira, 679 naira, 16 kobo, making a total of 438 million naira, 137,000 naira, 679 naira, 16 kobo. That's in totality from this particular contract that we don't know whether there are other contracts. This was we are discussing right now. This were the number of, uh, of, of many that this comp this particular company got so let's also now uh, uh continue and let's listen to more of the uh of the interview that he did that certified true copy from csc dated 2019 how come so i'm not been, even how come it has not been reflected this document has not been reflected on the CAC document and on CAC website. Well, I'm not responsible for the uploading or updating of CAC website. You know, people so are I have go not, to CAC have for, not, to have, update some of these documents. I've not been to CAC website and I'm not, it's not my responsibility to update the website. But what is important and I can say is that this is a certified true copy that you can see there. That's data 2019. I came into public office knowing fully well that Nigerians will ask questions. So you, you're, you were not involved in that over 400 million naira worth of well, contract? Five, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I do not run the company. I don't have, you I'm, don't have knowledge of that? I'm, not, that I'm not a signatory to any account. I'm not a director of the company. I'm not, uh, I'm not involved in the day-to-day -day running of the organization. And the company is a limited liability company which is, uh, I, mean, a, a, I mean, a private entity that... So, for me, I'm not a director. I'm, the I'm impression is that you use your office to get a contract from how, the humanitarian... How, how could I have done that? I'm Minister of Interior. I'm not Minister of Humanitarian. But you, you, I mean, if, if, if I had... Your you, colleague, you, that you use your office to get a contract into a company that you have interest in as a shareholder. On what basis will I do that? Is a company, is the company not entitled to bid for anything? I am not. I did it. I'm not Minister of Humanitarian. I'm Minister of Interior. 
this company can never work on the interior because that would be conflict of interest. That would be abuse of office. I never did that. So, and the company is a private entity. And you see a shareholder in the company? Of course. And to the best of my knowledge, public service rule does not prohibit public officers from being shareholders. What public service rule says is that you cannot be a director. <laughs> Ah, so I'm just trying to take notes, and you know, when we have, when someone is trying to be clever uh, by half, yes, absolutely. The uh, the public service rules does not say that you cannot be a shareholder, like I talked about, uh, I explained initially. Uh, but it does say that you can't be a director. So meaning he's still a shareholder. He's still a beneficiary of this company. So that's the, that's, that's, that's the main thing here. He mentioned something, you know, towards the end of this particular clip that it, if it, it, she, the, this company did not bid under his ministry, that if it had, if it had bidded under his ministry, bidded, is that the right word? Forgive me if it's not. If he had, uh, you know, done the bidding under the uh, Ministry of Interior, then it would have been abuse of office. Then it would have been a uh, conflict of interest. So, in other words, so all you just need to do is now call your sister ministry because that's all. You're all ministers. You're all the ministries, you know, different ministries. And then you're calling for your sister ministers. Say, okay, you know, this is my this is my company. I can't use. I can't do it in my own. This thing. Can you give it that? Because that's what this looks like. How, how is he not understanding that this is also abuse of office? This is also conflict of interest. Why are you, why is this company that it's yours, that it's a family business, now, now bidding for contracts under, you know, another like sister para, para start, a sort of like sister, another sister ministry going on. This, this this is the th this is the main these are the main issues coming back uh on the on the question of uh whether cac why is it not reflecting uh in in the what do you call it now why is it not reflecting on the website you know when when you go and search you can actually search for companies and then the names of the people you know will, will come out and so like and i totally agree with the minister that's not his responsibility the fact that cac have not upgraded it enough for that for that to be removed uh it's not his own his own part is to go and ensure that he actually uh stepped down as the director which is what he did with the certified true copies that he came with that are dated uh august 8 2019 and so then where he's talking about the fact that oh he's not involved in the company he does not run the company he's not a signatory those are those are not issues you can you it's possible for you not to be a signatory but you are still a beneficiary you are still a shareholder so what shareholding means at the end of the day profit everything is shared you take your percentage you take your percentage you own this you own the he owns 69 percent of the company so it's not about saying that oh i'm not i'm not a signatory then i'm not a i don't run the company no you don't run the company are you not a beneficiary yeah we understand you're not a signatory to the company yeah we understand uh you're not uh you, you're not a director in the company but hey are you not a signatory so that's uh, sorry are you not a beneficiary of this particular uh uh, uh 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 what do you call it now this particular company so these are the issues uh on, on on ground and it's not it's it's not a light issue because i see a lot of people who are saying oh you know he's doing so well he's doing this this he's doing that that he's doing that that those are not issues. We, we must sit down and look at issues the way they are without sentiments or fear of favor. Because at the end of the day, we need to keep doing the right things need to be done. Not to just say that, oh, okay, let's just leave this one. Because what moral justification will you have not to leave uh, that, that, that other one? It's also like, okay, like the better Edu, the, the minister that has been suspended can also come and say that, oh, but all of these companies are not my companies. I didn't pay to any of these companies. Oh, well, the people that, that they gave money for them to, to uh, fly ticket from Abuja to Kogi State, even though Kogi State does not have an airport, well, I, it wasn't me. I, I didn't give myself on it or something like that. You know, those are not excuses uh, that, that, one, that one we make. And then it, beco it becomes, okay, when you're talking about public money, 400 and something million naira for what?
consultancy in this era where we have so much difficulty in our country if nigeria was his private business or the whole people whoever it was their private business will they pay this consultancy for will they pay this amount when it comes to uh, co uh consultancy you know consultancy fee. but anyway let's still look at uh let's again look at the the, the next clip of which i had resigned about five years ago and secondly, the question is even this. Let's get to the, to the... I don't want to go deeply because I don't want to defend the company. The company has a management, has, uh, they have directors, they have a management that can defend them. The company can defend itself, not me. I'm a different entity from the company. But the simple truth is, I think the question should be, okay, if the company, if they were given a job, did the company do the job, yes or no? Was the, was, was the job... Um, validly uh, awarded, yes or no. If there are infractions, then the company can... The consultancy uh, job contract, that's what it's all about. Well, as I told you, I'm not in charge of the day-to-day -day running of the organization. But what I'm saying is this. I was in private business. I've been in private business for close to 20 years. I resigned about five years ago, as you can see from CAC documents. This is 2019 as a director. That's what the law says. And of course, I'm not a director. Let us first of all establish that fact. And that is dated. This is certified to copy. Anybody can go to CAC on freedom of information and ask, and ask. I'm not a director. But what I'm even saying is this. I don't want to double into the arena of investigation. I don't want to double into the arena of defending the company. I don't run the company. But this is about you because you, it's because of your name linked to the company that this is brought up. So you are saying that the presidency or anyone has a right to look into this, isn't it? Are you? Yeah, you're willing it, no, to, you're of course, willing why to, not? I'm not a you're willing to surrender I'm saying, to any kind I'm saying of this, I like have no business with it. Let's get that straight. Absolutely no business because one, I am not involved in the day-to-day -day running of the company. I do not pursue jobs for the company. I do not bid for the company. I do not run the company. I'm not a signatory to the company's account. I am not involved. So the company is an entity on its own. And if the company has a right to, for, to opportunity, the company has a right to perform, the question should be, was the job given to the company? If the answer is a yes, then the question is, did he follow due process in award? If it's a yes, did the company deliver on the job? If it's a yes, then number three is that did they deliver in line with the agreement of contract? If it is a yes, then fine. If it's not, then there are such chance by the books. Right. So, so I just think, to be sincere with you, for me, I know there'll be a lot of pushbacks. And I'm saying this very clearly. I, this is not my first public office. I was member of the House of Reps. And as member of House of Reps, before I had resigned as a director. All right. Honorable Minister, thank you. Say this, as I've always said, I came into public <laughs> office um, with a, with a well, a lot of interesting things uh, in there, right? I'll just go, I'll just, I was just taking notes as this uh, we're, we're going on. He said he doesn't want to uh, defend the company. The company can come and defend itself. Fine and good, we get that. But the thing is that influencing is also corruption. Corruption is not when you go in and take money. And some of the reports, some of the things uh, that have been, uh, in, in, some, in some reports that have been going on, is the fact that he has someone who is like, like his boy or something, who is who also got an appointment within the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and was the one that did, uh, you know, all of this push back to be able to get it, you know, sort of. One thing, like I said earlier, when you influence something, it's also corruption. You don't have to. Corruption is not just when you carry money and steal it. The fact that you are a minister and your company is coming to be in another ministry, it's influence that is corrupting. That is that also thing about you know when you when you talk about conflict of interest, when you talk about abuse of office, because it is a conflict of interest. It is an abuse of office. And for how many you know how, how was it? How many level playing ground was given to other companies that would do this consultancy? 
that they were given the chance to come and to come and do the consultancy. Let's look at that. How many people on that list are people that it is that they know who is who before they were able to get uh, uh, those jobs? These are the questions that we all need to be asked that people need to ask themselves not to say that oh you know it, it was it paid and you know the questions he kept he kept asking oh doesn't the company have a right to be you no know, uh, uh what was the other question was it due process that was the what did, it, did the company deliver a, uh, is it in line with the agreement that was done those are the things that we check if these things check out and then they know there is an issue because there is abuse of office, there is conflict of interest. This is someone who is a minister, also using, also getting other uh, 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 ministry. You know, who's, who is a minister who has a company? Then this company is able to get jobs with other uh, with with other ministry. How does that make sense? How is that even okay in 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 everything that we do? So it's like another ministry now will now bring another this thing to. Ministry of Interior, and then no, it, it, it's okay because it's not directly your own ministry. No, that's that is not it. That's not it. These things, most these things, you know, they must matter. They must matter to us. Yes, you are not a signatory. Being a signatory means nothing. I don't have to be a signatory in my account to be able to 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 get the largest from the company, to be able to enjoy the money. But you are an owner, and a sixty nine percent owner. So everything that that company gets, you are also an owner. Yes, you are not involved in the day-to-day -day running of the company. You, there are companies that people have. You, you put people there. They do all sorts of things for you. They do everything. They, at the end of the day, you have a cut out of what your company earns. So that's that's the main uh, issue. And for those people who are focused on the father, oh, you know, he's doing so, he's been doing so well. This is witch hunt. No, this is not about witch hunt. This is about how things, this is about the right thing being done. This is about process. I know a lot of Nigerians don't understand what processes are, don't understand what to, uh, the right, be doing the right thing it, it's all about. But if we don't do that, that's the reason why we cannot grow beyond where we are that's the reason why we have a lot of corruption in our country because people just do things anyhow you know knowing that they are going to get away with it and that's it yes legally you might have resigned from from uh from from being a director you might no longer be a signatory uh in, in that account you say that oh, okay uh, yeah, the law doesn't stop you from bidding or whatever, but it's morally wrong. And that's why, you know, when you talk about that morality, that's where you talk about this issue of conflict of interest and this issue of governance. If you actually watch this video to this place, I want to say to you, well done. Thank you very much for listening to me enough for you to get uh, to the end uh, of this video to watch it because, man, it's 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 really long i didn't know it was going to be this long over 20 minutes you know talking about uh 23 minutes but i'm going to end it here to say to every one of us that uh we cannot continue to accept wrongdoings neither should we continue to accept things being done anyhow processes must be followed and let's not be sentimental when it comes to issues let it not be oh it's my person it's not my person i like the person i like i don't like the person let it be about is the right was the right thing done was the law followed was it just was it ethical and is it something that we, that everybody had a right to we always talk about that nigeria that we want where the child of nobody can become somebody without knowing anybody these companies that are getting those contracts did they get it because they knew somebody or did they get it because they knew nobody thank you very much for watching